Hello, this is Bob Trottlestead here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Aether 2 mod for Minecraft. It just came out. It's for version 1.5.1. .1. Now here's all the downloads and mods you're going to need. I have them in a nice folder right here. So you're going to need Minecraft Forge, Render Player API, and Player API Universal, and of course the Aether mod. But I like to use MCVC or M MVC, which is Minecraft version changer. Now if you open Minecraft version changer, it's a program that lets you change your version of Minecraft, downgrade to any version you want, or upgrade. Like to snapshots. So this is a little um, interface and you can go down to 1.5.1 1 because that is what the mod version is for the Aether mod and you hit change so it'll connect and it'll do this and it's patching it and boom now Minecraft is version 1.5.1 1 .1. so all the links for those will be in the downloads now oops what you want to do next is you want to open your app data and that's just percent sign app data percent sign oops and once you do that it'll be in your roaming I have a little shortcut on my desktop and then minecraft and then your bin and you want to open minecraft.jar with um, 7-zip or Renoir archiver I'll put the download links to both of those in the description. I like to use Renrar because that's what I'm used to. But um, yes. So once you open that, first thing you do anytime you're modding, no matter what, delete the meta inf. That um, it will not work unless you delete the meta inf. So once that's deleted, you want to open your Minecraft Forge Universal and um, where you find this is it's a very specific version that you need for the Aether mod so um, it's actually on the Aether website which will be on the in the link in the description um, so yeah that's where you find all these downloads most of them in the Aether I'll put a link for MCV or MVC um, so what you want to do for Forge or Minecraft Forge, um, you want to select them all. Just what I did is just like dragged it, or you can do Control A, whichever one I just drag it down, and then you just drag it and drop it in your Minecraft .jar. It'll process my computer's a little slow, so and then add and replace files. Okay. And now you'll see that the meta inf is back. This is okay because this is from Forge and it will not, you know, make it so the mods don't work. Now another thing you need to do is the player API and render API. Any of these doesn't really matter. I like to do this since I still have it open. Um, so you just select all these, plop them in there just like before and same with player API and then put them all in there okay now you're good you don't need anything else from the dot jar this is all you need from the dot jar so you can exit out of that you're still gonna need this or I'm still gonna need this mods folder so I'm not now what you want to do is you want to run minecraft and this will set up all you need for installing the eighth, the actual Aether mod. So you just log in. As you can see, the FML settings are, are, is setting up your Minecraft environment. This is the um, Minecraft Forge. So it's going to start setting up and getting files that you need ready. Okay, validating Minecraft, Minecraft Launcher up, or Minecraft. Yeah, anyway. So Minecraft's gonna launch now. You see the Mojang sign. 
you're going to see a bunch of writing in the bottom around here. Just wait, it's coming up. Okay, there it is. Minecraft 1.5.1. And then this is all from um, Minecraft Forge. Now you can exit out of this, out of Minecraft. You want to go back to your app data from your Minecraft. I just still had it open. And now you can see there's new files. This is your mods file. Now what you want to do is open it. And then let's get our folder back out with all our mods. And this is how this is the easiest part of the whole thing. Copy and paste. Or you can drag it over, but sometimes I want to remod it because I like to do some vanilla stuff. Also with a little bit of aether sometimes, you know. But all you have to do is copy, paste it over here, or just drag it and drop it since it was already in there it said cancel but now exit out of everything you need open your minecraft and once you open your minecraft um, log in once you open your minecraft it will um, after the mojang sign it will come up with an aether menu selection that just comes with the mod This is awkward. Okay, now as you can see, the Aether has been installed. I'm actually going to go Options. Oh, that doesn't work. Music off. There we go. So, this is the Aether menu. Actually, what will happen is once it logs in, it will ask you, do you want 1.5.1? .1? Um, this one, this one, Aether 2, Aether 1, I like the Aether 2, so I'm going to do that. And you can actually see there's, like, official Aether servers, which I think is really cool that they did that. So, yep, that's how you install the Aether 2 mod. Thank you for watching, hope this helped you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I said, bye.